Shell Browder. I'm one of the journeyman blacksmiths from Colonial Williamsburg. Steve Mankowski and I are, are up here today to run a bloomery furnace to make iron in the way that it's been made for over 4,000 years, it appears. Iron basically exists in nature as a rusty rock, but it exists as, as a form of iron oxide, and you have to get rid of the oxygen and some of the mechanical inclusions as well. We're using some ore now that we collected in Virginia. It's already been roasted and crushed, and it'll go into a small operation called a bloomery or a bloomery furnace. It's a direct reduction process that will give us a bloom of wrought iron at the end of the run, probably five or six hours or so. And from there it can be forged into bars to make axes and nails and other things. We'll start the morning by preheating the furnace with charcoal. Once that's pretty well preheated, about an hour or so. Then we'll begin to add finer charcoal and iron ore at a ratio of a pound each. Of course, the volumes are quite different, but it should be about one pound of iron ore to one pound of charcoal. As it travels down through the burning charcoal, it begins to be reduced so that you get a bloom of iron, as it's called, perhaps because it blooms and grows from a small seed-sized uh, piece of iron ore into a chunk that can be hammered. You have to run it all day. You keep the, the charcoal and the iron ore itself layered so that it's right up to the top of the furnace. The furnace isn't actually a chimney, it's a stack. So the whole thing is involved in the reduction of iron ore. This is not a process that involves any instrumentation at all. You have to learn how to hear the sound of the fire and the air blast, to observe the, the slag that forms and runs out of the bottom of the bloomery. And there are long periods of time when you're just moving back and forth and nothing seems to be happening. And then at the end of the day, it'll suddenly be very intense as you pull out a bloom that could be anywhere from, in this, probably 14 to 20 pounds or so, and very quickly cut it into parts that you can forge with hand hammers into usable bars. That's a brief synopsis of a process that actually takes many hours both in the preparation and in the operation and finishing.